Welcome to Reading, Writing, and Critical Thinking Strategies, a podcast series built to support our Quinsigamon Community College students. Thanks for watching. Today's topic, three reading skills, the things we need to do before we start to read. Welcome and thank you for watching this podcast. Please remember each podcast is meant to refresh, rejuvenate, and recharge your brain with all the essential information we learned in class. Remember, all the work you put into reading will directly affect how well you understand what you read. In fact, reading at the college level and becoming a successful reader will require you to prepare well and utilize these pre-reading skills. Guessing, predicting, and brainstorming. When you choose a movie, let's say on Netflix for example, what's the first thing you notice? Most likely, the picture or the artwork on the DVD cover. There's a reason the cover is not just plain, it's not just all white with black words or all black with green words. The cover of the DVD is meant to attract your attention. The cover of a book does the same thing. The cover is thoughtfully designed to attract you, the reader. The next thing you might do when you're choosing a movie is to see who the actors are. It's very likely that you will choose a movie that you've never even heard of if there's a familiar actor's face or name on the DVD cover. When choosing a novel to read, you can flip it over and read the story's description on the back. Oh yes, the back cover is filled with some very important information. Let's do a little experiment with guessing and predicting. Here's the cover of a book you've likely never heard of. Look at it. Examine the title. Now make a list of everything that pops into your mind about this title. The truth is, you may not know much about the book or the plot or the characters, but already, right now, you're starting to make an important connection to the book. You're guessing and predicting what the story might be about. Right or wrong, and you're likely wrong, and don't worry if you are, you're planting tiny little seeds in your brain that'll help connect you with the first few pages. Remember, guessing and predicting will always help you start reading. Discover the purpose why you are reading. There are many reasons we read. Perhaps your instructor asked you to memorize specific information from a text that you'll use on a test. Perhaps you need to read a short story and then write an essay about a particular character or situation. Maybe you've been asked to read a passage, then restate it or summarize it. Or just maybe and hopefully you're reading just for the pleasure of it. All of these purposes for reading are very real and each demands different and specific skills. If you had to memorize specific dates and events from a history text, you would, as a good reader, be prepared to read with a pen and a notepad, taking notes, transferring those notes onto index cards, which will help you later memorize all the information. If you were to read with the purpose of writing a summary, you again would take a lot of notes, but now you'd be pulling out the main points and most important information for later use when you're writing your summary. Reading for pleasure requires a very different, more relaxed mindset. You're preparing to drift away with the characters you meet, look around at the places you visit as you turn each page, and immerse yourself inside the story. Take your time, don't rush, and do your prep work before you read. Remember, all the work you put into reading will directly affect how well you understand and enjoy what you read. Reading, Writing, and Critical Thinking Strategies, a podcast series built to support our Quinsigamon Community College students. Thanks for watching.